So we're going to go. Coil is going to be happening on top. March is going to be in trouble. There's the air spike to follow it up. Orb going to go on forward, and it's easy work. The team and secures an extra pretty penny. Now about 700 gold for himself. And is that that's going to hit March pretty hard. Like I said, he had a bit of gold. Bottom lane, though, they're going to make the pounce onto Zai. Shackles locking him in place. And they're able very, to very early Roche attempt. Oh, Heen's, oh, Heen's going to be in trouble. Uh oh. Heen, wrong place at the wrong time. And now he's going to be in trouble. And he tries to put out the eyes on top. And it looks like they're going to engage. The wave goes out. Zai's got to be careful. He's in good position on the high ground, but there's going to be the committed leap. And with that, the pounce follow up. So, Ryzen. Finishes off that one. Are they going to be able to get away scot-free, however? Arteezy comes in without his shape shift, but he's got the wolves out. And here comes S4. He goes on forward, rising. Oh, the uphill is going to connect, and now they turn back and finish off QO. Finger flies Ooh. out. Right. Heen, Heen. I don't think there's much you could do, buddy, so. He's the ults. He wants March. March does have the Ravage. Missile flies, but look how quick he is. Oh, he almost actually walked out of the oh. Ravage, but he gets caught with the pounce. Arteezy could be in trouble. Chrono follow-up has very good place, but it still does catch Forev, however. But they're able to finish off Arteezy from the backhand side. Zai dishes out big quill damage, and he is going to muscle on forward. S4 finishing off these kills, and they take down the Lion. Trade another. It's end up... Oh. Even less gold there for poor MVP. Uh-oh. S4. Bash, not gonna be happening. Stop, silence, zap to the f of spells from S4. He's just like feeling out the spells. Okay, jump in, I got a coil, I got a silence. I'm gonna ball forward, Dagon, and we got the job done. He's dead here, but they already want him. <laughs> here comes Kuroki, hey, welcome back. And then, oh jeez, the S4 steps in, Dagon. Q, oh, oh, a finger as well, so much hate. So much hate on this faceless void. Kuroki now gonna be in trouble though, as Forever does get the pounce, and there's the Ether Shock Blast to help out. They get one in exchange, it's just the support, but now Zai bullies himself forward. Starts dishing out the quill damage, but here comes S4, moves in, gets a kill. Beyond godlike for him, and now Arteezy looking to get involved. No shape shift for him. Ryzen desperate to get away, but March might not be so lucky. The goo, the swap back save, but it's into a coil. Not going to matter a whole lot. Ryzen, the, uh, it is over, and it looks like secret again. Now very troublesome as he's currently 0-6 and six and can't find his way, but they're going to try to commit onto Zai here. His back, bristly as ever, going to look to soak in as much damage, but they are able to finish him off. Ravage follow-up. They could make the go onto Kuroki. Kuroki tries to run away, but gets pounced up, and the pact. Under attack. Puppy could also be oh. in some trouble. Okay, they commit the Chrono for Puppy. Puppy's down. S4 levels up his Daggett, and he is very angry. Here comes Puppy back from the dead. Gets both the swap save coming out from Ryzen. And Arteezy gets instantly sheeped up. Wards are also going to be dropped into the mix. Puppy might have to scramble away, but there goes Lankin. Chop it away. Gets one support, wants the second. Ryzen the bottom. Then maybe get a hold of the Slark. S4 moves forward. Orb is there. He can't get a hold of him. Shadow Dance. He has the Daggett. Silence. Got him. Beyond Godlike S4, headshot. And now on the other side, March, caught with low mana, spiked up, S4's back. Get him. Oh, way out in front, and he wants to go to the next target, figuring March is gonna be down. MVP are on the way, but it's just too late. They are still thinking about making a go here. March has to walk in there the old-fashioned way to get a Ravage off, and he will connect very big, but unfortunately, Secret's very big. Now they drop their own coil. It catches beautifully on three. Heed's going to be brought down immediately. March locked in place. A brief swap back onto QO, who still hasn't deployed out his Chronosphere. Ryzen's going to get assaulted. The Chrono does go down, but S4 will scoff at your right-click damage. It's not going to be happening, and... There's going to be the dagging at the racks. Ooh, nice last second glyphs. Going to stall him out for a brief moment, but a nice, nice earth spike connects on both. They're able to go ahead and take down the Slark. There goes the black hole, but it's not even really necessary. Ryzen's going to be cleaned up, and S4 goes well.